Yeah, but the next clip that we have here is um, module two, unit two, and has to do with identif uh, identification of business op opportunities and threats. Yes, you want to identify business opportunity. You have to assess the environment to find out where the strength of your business lies, where the weaknesses lie, and where the opportunity you are looking for lie. And there is another area that threatens the failure of the uh, venture. And many people don't even look at that uh, aspect of it. Sometimes, you know, you see a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, out of, because they don't have uh, the, the background that is needed, the entrepreneurial uh, training wherewithal, they seem to neglect all the fundamental things that are needed to put up a strong entrepreneurship. They, they, they neglect and overlook some of these issues. The, the issue of fraud, uh, fraud is usually perpetrated by the uh, employees or people that are close to the business. All these things can cause business failure. That is very good to, you know, even look at it before the business, you know, takes the footing. Then the issue of uh, disaster. At uh, these days, you know, the issue of environmental disaster is uh, is becoming uh, very prominent, and the occurrence is becoming rampant. Uh, for instance, if you look at uh, flood and erosion all over the country, in fact, all over the world. The world is being threatened by flood now. Every place is flooding. In Nigeria, many states are flooding. Erosion all over the place. So if you if you have the, the if you are fortunate enough that your business is located in area that have uh, all these inter environmental issues and you didn't do the proper assessments and analysis. And you are fortunate enough to encounter any of this. It's enough to ruin your business. It will drive you out of business. And that's a very big cause of a, a business failure. That during the environmental assessment, all these things will be taken, uh, taken into consideration. Then there is issue that almost everybody seems to neglect. The issue of health is not everybody that can make it as an entrepreneur is good for going to business but you have to understand your state of health ill health can ruin a very promising entrepreneur that you know there is a health condition that you have it cannot lend itself to uh, the stress that is involved in running a business so all these analysis you know are, are critical if you intend to be a successful entrepreneur will take place there are opportunities too there are risks uh, if you look at the demographic environment for instance uh, most places in nigeria the population is so high depending on the type of business you're going to do because nigeria has the population as it were there's no uh, problem with that but if you are dealing with the uh, uh, young people and you go to locate your business where uh, a retirement home you are not going to make it you have to weigh uh, the 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 location of the business 
and the type of clientele that are in that environment. So as much as you have opportunities for human beings, is that the market that you're, you're aiming at? Is that your target market? So you know the demographic, uh, demographic environment. Even there is growing export market. But then you have to export what the people need and where they need them. You have to make some research, do some research in order to identify all these things in the environment. Otherwise, you are taking unnecessary risk. That entrepreneur uh, takes risk does not know, uh, mean that uh, he, he wouldn't do his investigation. He will not just go and, and locate any, anything anywhere and expect to succeed because uh, entrepreneurs take risk. Part of this risk is that you invest in research. You invest in research. It minimizes the, the level of uh, risk that you will encounter. Nobody says that immediately you, uh, you do research or find out. You can decide to find out, uh, to do that investigation and the circumstances may change thereafter. Those are the risks, where the risk is. But this risk that can be handled is better to take care of them, curb them early enough before uh, it gets complicated. The uh, issue of uh, uh, increased uh, consumer spe uh, spending it is also a, a very good opportunity. The more people spend, the more money is uh, available for the entrepreneur. If you if you if you're a young person and you are dealing with uh, maybe you are selling products that youthful products and you locate it around the uh, university students you know before you set down your ways that is already finished so it depends on the the type of business you are doing you find a location that is adequate for the type of uh, business you are doing the, the industries are growing too, everywhere, because as the population increases, so are the needs, and the industries are expanding. There is issue of threat. The type of threat is not a gun threat, but something like your competitors. There is no business that you are starting. Many people are not being in it. So the competitions are all stiff because there are too many people out there pursuing the same vision that, as you have. The issue of suppliers. The world of business is survival of the fittest. So the suppliers are there, the issue of suppliers. If you are buying from them, maybe to, uh, uh, to produce goods or services, you just know that they have their own terms and conditions. So when the, if you depend on suppliers for your raw materials, and you know that when they, the, 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 those products are not there or they are not willing to supply you uh, uh, again your business is under threat the issue of uh, customer brand switching if you are not doing well they may leave you and go to your competitor they love your brand they like your brand but when you become dishonest about your brand you uh, you start uh, given substandard products they will switch it's a very big threat and you can now lose customer loyalty and now your profit will be affected there are also innovations by competitors if you are if you are doing business if you are opportunity venture if you are being business in modern uh, 
uh, under the uh, modern uh, situation, you make sure that you adapt to latest technology in your business. Because if you don't, your competitors will. And when they do that, they drive you out of business. So it's very, very critical to uh, be abreast of the innovation in your business. And finally, an effective SWOT analysis is critical. That's what we are saying. That is critical that you weigh all these options. Do your investigation, do your research. Sometimes people think that the research is very expensive. Why do I need it? After all, other people are selling the same thing. It helps you to find out what to avoid and where to um, put your next step. It, uh, you know, it helps you to improve when there is area of weakness and strengthen where you have your opportunities. So for a, a, a passionate entrepreneur, you do your SWOT analysis before you even take off or uh, for expansion of your business. Until then, I will leave you here.